Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, time has come and gone so fast that we're now on the second week of 2021. Second month of 2021. We're already in February. Last January, I did a bunch of videos, mostly about uh, Transformers. And now I'm doing an... Yeah, mostly Transformers, okay? So now we're doing more Transformers videos. We're going to be taking a look at this new, uh, semi-new, the Studio Series Grimlock and Autobot Willy. This is Leader Class Grimlock from the Transformers, the movie... Uh, from the Transformers, the movie, the 1986 version. That movie where a bunch of our heroes got killed, pr Prime, those who were in the Ark. So, yeah. This this is actually, um, I've read and I've heard that this is a mini masterpiece, like a, a mini version, a more affordable version of the masterpiece, masterpiece uh Grimlock that they released before. Okay. It, it does look a bit chunky. Okay. So let's go right into it. Let's look at the packaging. So the packaging um, has that G1 figure. This actually looks like... Yeah, of course it does look like... It, look, it looks like exactly like Grimlock. I mean, this figure is what I suppose everyone was expecting for the power of the Primes. Uh, version to be uh, except of course what we got was a combiner and a voyager class a quite small voyager class actually so this leader class version of the g1 grimlock is right up the alley of anyone or everyone who is looking for an affordable grimlock to fill out their collection affordable and i'm saying that loosely affordable okay uh, toys now are quite expensive so yeah, so it comes with a wheelie, uh -huh. uh, packaging in the back, you could see him in his, it, which is kind of weird, huh? uh, the, re the rendering of the CG rendering uh, at the back of this figure, you could see that his chest plate is a translucent yellow or goldish plastic. Well, what we have is a more of a burnt something, burnt, burnt something. <laughs> anyway, that's enough for the packaging. It's just a bunch of, it's actually the same artwork that they use on both sides and in the front and the Transformers, the movie logo there. Uh, no checklist of what other figures you would expect. Okay, so... Let's open him up and take a closer look at the figure itself. Okay, so now we have him outside of his box. Uh, also his display stand or what, whatever. Yeah, uh, They haven't really gone around to the studio series to being uh, more environmentally, environmentally conscious as well. Like what they did with kingdom so they're still sporting a clamshell a plastic clamshell inside and a wide product window so yeah so outside of the box um yeah the figure looks pretty neat he comes with two accessories uh we have willie here with his tiny tiny slingshot uh, in his slingshot pose. Uh -huh. And his gun. Yeah, that's the gun. <laughs> um, what surprised me with this figure, especially since my last review was for a another Tyrannosaurus. Anyway, let's remove the base. Uh, it's quite well done, actually. Um, and could be used for picture taking and other stuff or if you want to display it with that yeah uh, this is a nice addition and also made out of really really nice plastic uh, 
yeah, a really, really nice thick cardboard. Uh, not the flimsy ones that you could get from the other. So the figure, as I was saying, my last review was of Kingdom Megatron, the Beast Megatron, which is which also transforms into a Tyrannosaurus Rex. And these are two generations of uh, Transformers, maybe separated by another middle one. So it's like two generations away from G1. And that toy was... Uh, I thought it was massive, uh, big, but this is already bigger. But what is my initial impression oh, when opening this, that, that this was a bit, a bit light. Okay, but that's probably because Megatron there has some rubbery bits and maybe has more weight. Well, this guy here is more block box like, so doesn't really need all those rubber bits and what. But he towers over that one. Anyway, like I said, the accessories included his wheelie here, whose primary, yeah, in his uh, slingshot pose, kind of hit someone with that. Um, it has five points, oh, six points of articulation. Six points of articulation, uh, meaning it has articulation at the shoulders, on the hips, at the waist, and the head. The head is on a ball joint, so you have some sideways movement there. He, he can stand only uh, in this weird squat-like pose. See that? So he's like, he's always taking a dump. The other accessory is this gun, which is a nice gun molded in black plastic. Uh, I think this is the traditional Grimlock weapon. Uh, we did not get any of that in Power of the Prime. So yeah, already this is a better figure <laughs> because of that. Um, mine is a bit loose, if you could see, um, the shoulder, the shoulder articulation is on soft ratchets, you could hear it a bit, but mine is a bit loose, okay. uh, it's molded in different colored plastics, um, this one's gold, yeah, this is gold plastic, I hope this will not turn brittle. Um, gray, mm -hmm. red, black, and more gray. Uh, the head sculpt is amazing, and uh, really G1 looking. Of course, this is Studio Series, and Studio Series has a level of uh, detail that is um, like a landmark or a benchmark. Yeah, benchmark of quality. <laughs> So this really does look exactly like or very close to the G1 figure. But it also scales well with the uh, Earthrise figure. So, uh, here is leader class. Can I say that very loosely? Leader class Earthrise Prime. As you can see, that's how they scale in the cartoons, right? So yeah, you could use your studio series. I guess that's their compromise since they're doing Beast Wars in the main line. They would continue the G1 love fest with the studio series. So all you G1 fans can still spend your world your money on G1 figures. So anyway, let's. The figure feels very light, actually. Um, it's big, but it's light. 
but still I like I like the it's um I like how big it is, okay? All right. So taking a look at um most of its sculpt it has really nice tooling actually. Uh most of my Grimlock, my my knockoff ones, knockoffs and my third party ones. Um but anyway, what I'm trying to say is I really like the, the tooling that um, Hasbro has done all throughout all throughout Grimlock's body. Uh, oh, so he said this on a ball joint. Sorry for my lighting. I'm only working with one light now. My other light got smashed. So yeah, so it's a bit dark. So, yeah. And also, I can't seem to keep this guy in frame. Mm. So, head is on a ball joint, so it allows uh, some sideways motion. You can see that. Uh, can do the quizzical look pose. Also, full rotation in that. Articulation on the shoulders allows him to raise his hands sideways, like so. And a separate articulation with soft ratchets, you could hear that, would allow him to fully rotate that arm on both sides. He has a eye, but that's for transformation. Uh, an elbow bend. Very deep one, so you can do that. He has a waist swivel. And uh, his hips, the hip articulation allows him to do the full splits actually. That's a full split. And he can also do the forward backward split see raise his feet his entire leg that much and he has knee articulation and knee bend also a thigh swivel he also has a bicep swivel there very nice articulation uh, he also has, he does not have a toe bend, but he does have uh, ankle tiltage, so he could tilt his ankles. You know, he can do such a wide A stance. Okay. Uh, at the back, he could, you have this uh, sort of wings, which is of course his, which is of course, is his dinosaur body. Mm-hmm. And those wings are articulated. You can actually raise it like so. And then move it like so. If you could do that. And yeah. Mine's a bit loose. See, it flaps. Okay. Very nice Grimlock. And I was pleasantly surprised that this is pretty easy to transform. Oh, he also has... Um, Wrist articulation, you could rotate those wrists. So you have that. So all in all, this is very well articulated, very poseable figure, and it's also transform transformable. All right. So to transform him, um, let's start with his arms. You could lock it in place. So lock it in place. And then flip those hands inside his forearm yes and then you could unlock this part which will be his shoulder I shoulder which will be his dinosaur knees unlock that dinosaur knees unlock okay now 
Let's do his legs first. Uh, flip this. Like so. Flip this. Like so. Now he looks. Now he's taller. <laughs> no. <laughs> and then open this. Open this. And then flip the tail outside. Yeah. Yeah, you could do that later. Do that later. So yeah. And then you would there are grooves in here, so you could put that there. Fine. Do also the other side. And now um Do the tail like so. Do the other side as well. Close it. Close it. Close it. I'll close this one. And now you could peg this together. Now we have his tail. Now for his upper portion, you could remove this. Put this down. Alright, so now we have him. I'm a dinosaur! I'm a freaky dinosaur. Now flip his head in. And flip his dinosaur head out like so. And now close this. And now he's a dinosaur. Like I said, my f this feet is a bit loose on my copy. So he is he a bigger dinosaur than I could. Yeah. Now he's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Is he a bigger dinosaur dinosaur than uh, Megatron? Let's get Megatron. <laughs> Only because Megatron is easily accessible. Aye. Oh, they're just about when in there in their dinosaur modes. They're roughly the same size. Oh, oh excuse me. A dinosaur mode does not want to stand like a dinosaur. It's a bit uh, back heavy. Probably, I don't know if that's my... But he, but they kind of, uh, they're kind of the same size. <laughs> hmm. So he's a robot dinosaur. <laughs> Probably because I did not transform him that well. So yeah, was well, none of this. Are Packing right there, we go. <laughs> Hi, now for the articulation on his dinosaur mode, his head does swivel so he, he can look left and right there. 
you can also tilt his head up like that open his mouth and then yeah open his mouth Two. Oh yeah there is a port there so you could use any of your War for Cybertron mm -hmm. effects pieces like so yeah this is the only pose that I can have him sta stand on because he's a bit too um, back heavy in this part so yeah it doesn't really Or like that. <laughs> um, his dinosaur arms ha are on a ball joint, so you could rotate it. And you could have him do this. <laughs> I did that, and he has a an elbow elbow bend there. Uh, the hands have no articulation, um, no rotation, or anything. For the feet, it's basically his hands, so it's the shoulder joint, so you can, yeah. So if he has uh, thigh swivels, uh, knee bends. And he can um, do this. <laughs> so yeah, this is a very pretty nice Grimlock. Pretty nice version of Grimlock. Hmm. Yeah, except my copy has uh, a bit of problem with being too loose in the shoulder part. So anyway, if I lock it like that, he can stand it like that. So yeah, it's pretty nice. Now for storage, there is grooves here. And there are slots in there, so you could place this there, like so. So that's how you store his gun in his dinosaur mode. And little wheelie here, you could, uh, there are notches here in his feet, you could see that. And then there are pegs in here, so you just place goes here and place the other one there and there he's treadling Dinobot mm -hmm. pretty nice start for the studio series for the Transformers 1986 movie studio series line I uh, can't wait to get the other dinosaurs, the other dinobots. And here is Prime in. See, he still towers over Prime in his dinosaur form, which is awesome. So, yeah, that's my review. That, that are not, actu not actually a review, but more of a look at the figure. I, I liked it. I like it. Sorry if I'm a bit. My energy is not that um, up. Because, yeah, I'm a bit tired. I just finished work. Just wanted to do a video first of this figure before I actually play with him. And, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, thank you for still watching the videos. And if you are not yet a subscriber, please su subscribe to the channel. I do a lot of this uh, stupid stuff. That I take a look at toys that I buy that I shouldn't actually buy. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. See you at the next video.